Welcome to the very first Synfig tutorial of the new year and happy new year by the way. All right, so today we'll be creating an advanced iRig using the controller plugin created by Veermetry. Now to get this plugin, you will have to go to the plugins section of the Synfig forums. Now I'll of course provide the link for you to get there. All right, now this plugin is still technically in development and it's still being tested and I really love the plugin so that's why I'm going to use it to create this um, this iRig. Now, uh, when you get to the forum, make sure to just scroll all the way down. No, there's a lot of posts there, so just scroll all the way down to the very bottom here and then scroll up slowly until you see the last version of the plugin as of this recording, okay? And this post is right above mine here, so just look out for this. And where you see this, then you'll see plugin. Just left click on the plugin.zip to download it and uninstall, uh, take it out of the zipped folder and then place it into the plugins folder of Synfig. You should already know how to install plugins in Synfig. Now, once you've installed the plugin, then we can go ahead to the tutorial. So inside Synfig here, I have my iRig. This is an iRig that I uploaded to my Gum Roads page. You can, of course, download it for free in the description below, or you can create your very own iRig, okay? Using just two circles. Let's get started. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to open up my folder here, select the pupil, which is this right here. And with that selected, I'm going to come over to my keyframes properties here. I interchange keyframe and waypoints all the time, but technically this is a keyframe. So I'm just gonna remove this and go back to my properties here and turn on animate. And on the very first frame here, I'm gonna add a keyframe of my pupil in its default state. Now the default state is where it is currently. So I'm just gonna move over to the right here slightly just to get a keyframe and then move it back to the left to get that initial keyframe. Let me zoom in here. So we have one keyframe of the pupil being in its original state. Now we need five keyframes overall for the plugin to work or to get the best results from the plugin. So the first keyframe should always be the layer or the object that you want to animate in its original state. The second keyframe should be the object going to the right. The third keyframe, the object going to the left. Fourth keyframe, the object going to the top and the fifth keyframe, the object going down. So let me simulate that right now. So I'm gonna to go to frame two here, left click on the origin point for the pupil and I'm just gonna move it over to the right. Now you can move it all the way over to the right if you want, wherever you want to place it, that's entirely up to you. But I think I'm gonna leave it here. Let me close up this transformation here and I'm gonna to go to frame three and I'm gonna move this all the way over to the left like so. And I'm gonna to go to frame four and at, on frame four, I want this to go up. So I'm gonna just duplicate my very first keyframe here to get it into its default state. And then I'm gonna just move it all the way up like so. And again, you can move it um, however far you want to move it. And I'm gonna to go to the fifth frame here and just duplicate my keyframe here, the very, or the very first keyframe and then I'm just gonna move this all the way down like so, maybe there. So now we have five keyframes. So let me just go through each of those again. The default state, the, I, the pupil moving to the right, left, up, and down. All right, great, so you're all set to go. Now let's, um, before we run the plugin, we'll need to rename the layer that we have our keyframes on using the joystick handle. And in this case, it's the pupil layer. So just click here and then make sure you type joystick. So J-O-Y-S-T-I-C-K and underscore and whatever you want to call uh, the controller here. So I have I have joystick underscore pupil. You could have joystick underscore I, you could have joystick underscore Roy, John, whatever. It doesn't matter as long as you have joystick underscore and then the name that you want to give it, okay? So let me press enter and we're all set. Now I'm gonna turn off the anime button and I'm gonna run the plugin. So go to plugins, create joystick, proceed. And when it's done, you should have your controller here. So it created a group for itself here. So let me just move this over here and open this up and this will be our controller. So if I should move this down, the people moves down, 
left it moves left right it moves right and up it moves up so as you can see it's simulating all the movements that we added to the keyframes and also everything in between so all right so we're all set up with our pupil let me actually just put this back into the center here by changing my origin points to zero and we're good to go with that now i just want to set up a controller for the let me turn this off i want to set up a controller for the eyelids so let me turn this on and we're going to go the old-fashioned route right so we're going to create duplicates of this so i'm just going to rename this eyelids underscore five then i'm going to duplicate this using the duplicate button here I'm going to rename this one to eyelids four, turn off eyelids five here, and then I'm just going to change the state of eyelid four. So all we're doing is creating different uh, shapes, right, for our eyelids to simulate the eyelids opening up. So I'm just going to select the origin point here of the top one, and I'm just going to move it up slightly like so, and I'm going to move this one down like so. Now you can move it as far as you want. It's entirely up to you. And I think I'm going to work with uh, maybe about four different eyelid groups. So let me just duplicate this, rename it, and we'll do the same thing. Turn off the previous one, go into eyelids three, and I'm gonna move this up like so, and move this one down like so. Actually, let me move this up a bit more. So I have three and just two more. And you can go to as many as you want. I have just chosen to use five different um, different versions, all right? So let me go here, open this up like so, and move this down like so. Let me move this up a bit more, like that. Okay, so that's eyelids two, and I'm gonna go with eyelids one. And for eyelids one, this is when the eyes are open. So I'm just gonna turn these off and boom, we have eyelids one. Now I'm gonna group these and place them in a group like this and call this eyelids like so. And I'm gonna turn on all of my eyelids. Now, if you're using the same file that I'm using, um, you'll notice that we can't see the eyelids even though that they are, even though they are turned on. Now that's because if you click on this and come over into the properties, the blend method is set to onto, right? So if I should take that off and change it to composite for each of these, let me actually do that. Just select eyelids one, hold on shift, select all the way down to eyelids five, and let's change the blend method to, to composite. We are able to see all of those now. And then what we want to do is click on eyelids, the, the overall group here, and change the blend method to onto to place them back onto our eye like so okay so now we're seeing all our eyelids now let's go ahead and set up the controller which you should already know how to do because i have a lot of tutorials on this so in its properties i'm just going to click on z range here and i'm going to right click z range position convert convert this to integer and i'm going to export this into my library here so i'm going to call this eyelid well, let me give it a lowercase name, eyelids, click export. And that is now in my library, like here. And I want to go and set up the controller. So let me just click on this group here, right click, new layer, transform, rotate. And let me place it in, this into a group. And I'm going to rename this uh, eyelids controller. So eyelids underscore CNTRL, short for control like so and uh, let me rename this to controller eyelids like that so let me just move this out of the way here uh, let me scale this so that we can see it better here and move it down a bit and let's go ahead and set this up so with my eyelids controller selected i'm just going to come over here into the properties right click amount convert scale open this up go to scalar here uh, well, go to link, right click link, convert, convert that to an integer. And I'm going to change the scale to 30. That's because I like working with the value of 30. Uh, click on the link, make sure that the eyelids is selected in the library. 
and right click here click on connect and now we have that set up so when you move your controller will see the eye closing and opening and remember you can use as many poses as you want so this is pretty cool and we also have our controller here and we can move our pupil and we can also move the eye so there you go uh, let me just I'm gonna change this color to the same color as my pupil here so it looks like that I'm liking that all right so that's it pretty much it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one